Hey you! Have you ever wondered yourself why there are so many worlds with Japanese users and especially worlds for the Japanese community showing up in your VRChat menu? Well, I will tell you in this video. Japanese worlds are almost on every page you can find in VRChat, yet its people and its whole community is still somewhat of a mystery for others like me and you. I dug a little deeper into the rabbit hole of VRChat's Japanese subculture to find out what makes it so unique, mysterious and especially exciting to explore. Hold my digital hand while I lead you through the Tokyo of Viace, the world's events and festivals you surely have never heard of but definitely would never want to miss out on after this video. But before we get into the adventure, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're looking forward to more content like this in the future. Anyways, let's start our engines and move on to the first mystery, the events. The Japanese organize a lot of events and meetups through VRChat. You definitely have heard of the virtual market or from my latest video, the Meta Festival. Check them out or else you're missing out on something. These two events are made possible by creators and organizers from, you guessed it, Japan. Even events like the VR Music Festival 2022 that don't get much attention are mostly held by Japanese, although their focus is usually only for the Japanese audience. Music festivals and events either way are a big thing for the Japanese community. Playing live shows on big TVs and even using hologram technology to show performers live in 3D. <laughs> Not only music, but fitness events are a common thing for the Japanese users. My friend Chizunen and I met for a morning stretch with tons of other users. Together we stretched ourselves to stay flexible and at the end wished ourselves a nice day. Good morning! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I was able to get to know some of the users a little more and from what they've told me, these groups happen every morning, usually before users go to work to get ready for the day. I also noticed that almost everyone in these groups wears an avatar from Booth. Okay, wait, hold on. What is Booth? Booth.pm, nope, not booty.pm, <laughs> is an international indie marketplace where small creators can open shops and sell items such as mangas, music and even avatars. Usually avatars are the biggest category on Booth and almost every avatar is especially made for VRChat and or either Vroid. You definitely have seen at least one booth avatar in VRChat or YouTube. To name an example, Kikyu is the most known booth avatar. Yes, you can't really define a culture by what they like to wear, but really, the majority is wearing these avatars and honestly, they look pretty well made and are worth the money. The exhibitions in the virtual market also link the avatars that you want to buy straight to booth.pm. So it is a very essential website most of the Japanese use to either sell or buy products. There's also something we really gotta respect. The Japanese and VR chat are very well connected. It feels as if everyone has good connections with each other, an interesting feeling of being in a clique, almost family-like. The community is very strong together and helps each other out if someone needs it. Yet the community does seem a little introverted, sometimes not wanting to be confronted with the westerners who don't speak Japanese. But of course, it's not always the case. Overall, the community really helps each other out and is very outgoing once you get to know them better. I myself have even visited a job consulting VRChat meetup where users can exchange their plans, seek for advice and even help each other out when it comes to applications. Yeah, uh, we are consulting about your job, your career life, mm. what do you want to be in the future or if you have some trouble in your job, in your work, we can listen to your work and solve your problem together uh. with you. At the end of meetups, groups always gather together for a photo and these end up really cool and fun. <laughs> 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 
The Archit is a place where a lot of different communities come together, play and share. Each community has their goods and bads, but all of them have something in common. It's virtual reality that gets everyone together as a whole community. We all love to be in a different world, check out new places and meet new people. And I think we can all agree on the Archit giving us the opportunity to be a part of something truly big. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. Leave a comment on what you most liked about this video and share it with your friends. By doing so, you support me and my channel to be viewed by other enthusiasts. Check out this video to get a view at the meta festival that I teased in today's video or check out on this video to see what makes the most visited world so special. Take care in the virtual as well as in reality. Ciao ciao!